Hello everyone, today I'll have a very useful video for those who are tired of constantly charging their smartphones, phones, or tablets. After these settings, your Android phone will last a really long time. Battery charge. I'll tell you about basic problems. Why does the battery drain quickly? Sometimes you buy a new phone, it holds a charge very well, but after 2-3 to three months, you notice that the phone doesn't last through the day. That is, in the morning you wake up with a 100% charge, you go to work or somewhere, and by the evening you only have 15 to 20 percent thus the phone works for about eight hours without any active use just constant calls text messages browsing the browser watching videos youtube and so on and for those who play games the phone lasts a maximum of four to five hours regardless of the android version whatever model you have you will be able to find all this on your device because we won't be using any programs we just need to go through the standard settings please support this video by liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already i'll be demonstrating on a xiaomi phone if you have a different model and can't find some settings let me know you can use the default settings there's a search bar there you can find a lot of similar names and similar settings there so first we need to use a section called security this section exists in the default settings and as you can see, I have it on the home screen. So, we go here and scroll down a bit. We need to find data transfer. It's a drop down list. So, we go to data transfer. And here we have network connections. We go here. On the right side, you see active checkboxes. This means that these apps have constant access to the mobile internet. And, accordingly, what are they doing? They are updating their data, sending ads, downloading useless money, exchanging information in general. Constantly exchanging information, of course, drains your battery. Of course, having 20 to 30 apps is normal, but when you've been using your phone for 2 or 3 months, I'm sure you have about 100 apps installed, including system apps. They're all here, and each app is updated about 2 or 3 times a week, but that's just the updates. Data is exchanged very frequently, sometimes daily, every 2 hours. And I'm only talking about one of these apps. They all exchange information even when you're not using the phone. Just being connected to the mobile data network is enough. Here, of course, you need to go through all these settings and disable almost all the apps. I would advise leaving only those that you use frequently, but they need to have access to the internet. For example, some messengers or apps that you receive notifications from. The rest can be disabled, and this will significantly save battery life. Then, in the top right, you see a column that scrolls. If we scroll here, we have a hidden Wi-Fi tethering mode. When we move on to Wi-Fi, these are the same apps, but they're now using your Wi-Fi connection. I've already disabled a lot, you see, I've disabled almost everything, but some apps send a separate request to connect to the Wi-Fi network when they load. Here, you can also go through unnecessary apps to reduce battery consumption. After that, you need to tap the three dots on the right. There's a setting here called Background Connection. Tap here and you'll be taken to another menu. Here you'll find even more apps, and if you've never been here before, be sure to find and visit this section, because in the background, when all these apps are running, they, being enabled, can launch processes to support the operation of a specific app, and this consumes your RAM and, therefore, is constantly running. Increase the processor frequency. Of course, all this together drains your battery. This may not be so noticeable for those with a battery of 5000 hours or more, but even with all of this enabled, everything I'm showing you now, the battery still drains quickly. Try going through all of these settings, connecting, configuring, and you'll really notice a nice boost in battery life. As for background connections, I recommend enabling almost everything. You see, I have almost everything disabled, but some of it still remains when I download something new. It still ends up here. You have to go back there and disable it all manually. This is especially true for games. Again, leave only a few apps that you really use frequently. These could be YouTube, WhatsApp, Viber, those you visit frequently. The rest can be disabled without hesitation. 